There is absolutely stunning news out of Michigan today, where the school year for students and teachers in Saginaw County's Buena Vista School District is officially over. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Although the last day of school was supposed to be June 13th, Saginaw's superintendent, Eric, made the announcement at a meeting this afternoon that they are just canceling the rest of the school year. As we reported last week, the students have not been in school since Friday, May 3rd, because the Buena Vista School District is out of money. The state has cut off their funds because state officials said Buena Vista took money to educate students who no longer go to school in the district. And Republican Governor Rick Snyder has refused to give them any more. So, what we have is a district that has laid off all 27 of its teachers, all but three of its employees, and has essentially cast aside the constitutional right to an education of some 400 students for the next six weeks. It doesn't have to be that way. The state of Michigan, get this, is sitting on a $500 million rainy day fund. And state lawmakers, like De Democratic Representative Stacey Irwin Oaks and State Senate Democratic Leader Gretchen Whitmer, are asking Republican Governor Rick Snyder to tap Michigan's rainy day fund to provide emergency money to Buena Vista schools. They're asking for half a million dollars, just one one-thousandth of the total in the account, to fund the last four weeks of school for these kids. But so far, Governor Snyder is refusing to make any of that money available. That's not what the rainy day fund's really intended for. I think people are trying to look through good constructive solutions that wouldn't require that. Good constructive solutions. Well, let me tell you something. Right now, the only solution they could come up with is that the Buena Vista District will try to use a federal funding stream, I can't believe I'm about to say this, to set up and run four to six weeks camps over the summer break to help students make up what they missed. They're calling it a skills enhancement camp, which the district hopes will focus on math, writing and reading, and will be held in the district's building. So to recap here, Republican Governor Rick Snyder refuses to release 0.1% of the state's rainy day funds so Buena Vista schools can reopen, but he's okay with replacing the rest of the school year with a voluntary camp to by the federal government will take place in the same buildings where these kids should be going to school and getting educated. Joining me tonight, Democratic Congressman Dan Kilvey, who represents the 5th District of Michigan, where this horror show is playing out. Congressman, how is this happening? I cannot believe that it is legal to just throw kids out of school, fire all the teachers, and I mean, there are requirements attached to federal funding. There are requirements to educate kids. It's the basic duty of a local government. How is this happening? Well, I can't believe it. Uh, this is a case where it came down to a question of the money or the kids, and the state government chose the money. And this is, this is a very simple situation. The state of Michigan is constitutionally required to provide a free public education to these kids. And they can't just simply wave a magic wand and say, well, school year's over now. Everybody else in Michigan goes to school. These kids get a full public education. But because these kids have the misfortune of being born in the wrong zip code, their school year ends six weeks early. Here's the thing. They can't make up those six weeks. You know, this voluntary camp I understand that the local folks are. That's trying not to school. Up, we have school, school for a reason. There's a word school and a word camp, right. and those are two different words for a very good reason. It's completely unacceptable. You know, the, the teachers were willing to work without any guarantee of pay until a solution could be found. They said no. The state of Michigan has a legal responsibility to provide this education. They said no, and so now we come up with this this concept, which is is a day camp, which is not mandatory. The teachers that they've been learning from all year long have may to reapply or, for their have jobs. To reapply may or may not be uh, uh, selected, and and a, a good number of the kids probably won't attend. You have uh, expressed concern about the, the so a need even more basic than education, which is kids getting. Food. Right. Ninety-one percent, if I'm correct, ninety-one kids in this district qualify for free or reduced meals at school, and you're asking that they be provided those meals somehow, some way, for the, this last month. Minimally, I and mean, they should be in school. There's no question about it. These kids should be in school. Getting getting a decent meal is is what we also provide as a part of that school experience to make sure that you know that they're learning and that they they have a nutritious diet. But the fact of the matter is, 
this wouldn't happen in other places. Other, other areas of the state of Michigan, these kids are going to school, they're going to finish the school year, they're going to go through June. It shouldn't be the case that because you live in a community that it by clearly has been mismanaged, that local school district was a failure, but the kids should not pay the price. Yeah, I mean, there seems like there is real real problems in the local school district, and right. I don't want to take them off the hook for their, their role in this. But, but it's the, the state's responsibility. That has to the state, the state is the have responsible to educate right. the kids. It I have to really ask you this question. It's interesting. Yeah. Though that they would be willing to t take federal money to yes. come up with a camp when the state government is the only level of government that's mandated to require to provide this public education. Qu quickly, it's not an accident that nine that this is happening in a district where 91 percent of the kids qualify for for free or reduced meals. I mean, to me, what this says is the state is saying this is a bunch of poor kids. I wash my hands. Well, it's certainly that's certainly the impression. You know, if if um, if we can't realize that these kids, first of all, they're uh, they have one hand tied behind their back as it is. They live in a community that's impoverished. Uh, they're struggling to get through the school year as it is. If we can't realize that these kids need to be in school more than any other group of kids you can imagine, they need to finish their school year so that in September they can start where they left off. It's this way, they may never get this, this uh, six-week period back. There's 25 seniors who it looks like in a deal are, gonna, are going to graduate, but it's still unclear where the funding for the graduation ceremony is going to come from. They're fundraising right now. Right. Congressman Dan Kildee of Michigan, we're going to stay on this story. Thank you. Thank you very much.